I've been podcasting for 15 years, and often I have people ask me, hey, Dave, is there anything you would do differently if you were starting today? And today I'm going to share one. The School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting, where I help you plan, launch, and grow your podcast. Use the coupon code YouTube when you go to schoolofpodcasting.com slash start. And the one thing I wish I had done way back in 2005 when I started was make a list of the episode topics, maybe have a category, things of this nature, because now I go, hey, let's do an episode about, I don't know, starting a podcast network, and I go, Wait, didn't I talk about that in the past? And I did. Link right there. And so what I want to show you is how do I take my RSS feed, which has all my information, because right now I have to go over to my website and do a search. And WordPress search, not that great. So I want to take my RSS feed, which has all the information about my episodes, and put it into Excel or something like a Google Sheet. Well, today we're gonna use Excel to start, and it starts off, we're gonna kinda of get our geek on here just a little bit. I'm in Microsoft Excel. Click on File, Options, and then you wanna click here on Customize the Ribbon, and we have to turn on the Developer tab because you can see there's an option here for XML. So when I click on that, I now have this tab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my Libsyn account because I need my RSS feed. So in Libsyn, you just go under destinations. And obviously if you're using somebody else, the bottom line is you need your RSS feed. So I'm just gonna highlight this. I'm gonna right click and choose uh, copy link location. And we're gonna go back to Excel. And now under the developer tab, I'm gonna come in here and click on import. And it's gonna ask me, it looks like it's looking for a file. And I'm just going to put in the link to my RSS feed on the internet. And when, and it actually is kind of, I tried to do this earlier by putting the file on my computer and that seemed to mess it up. So I'm gonna click on open. And it says, this does not refer to a schema, blah, blah, blah. And when you click on okay, and in my case, I'm importing, oh, here's this one. Where do you want this to start? Yeah, just start here on A1. And there are other things under properties that I just, kept the typical things here. And when I click on okay, now in my case, it's importing over 700 episodes. So it's gonna take a second for that to work. And we're done, let's go back. And you go, yeah, that is ugly. So what we're gonna do here is we're kind of done with the developer tab and we're gonna go over here to the home tab and it says, hey, this is complete, blah, blah, blah. We go, yeah, we know. And click on uh, the Home tab here. What we want to do is first click on this little to the left of the A and above the number one. That is a Select All button. So we've selected all eight bazillion rows of this spreadsheet. And we're going to click twice on Wrap Text. So once it thinks about it and things are going to get ugly. And then one more time. And there we have it. And at this point, you have... Tons of information. The thing I like about it, so some of this we're not going to need. Like I don't need my 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 email address and things like that. And what you could do, so what do I do with that? Well, number one, I could just highlight this and choose hide. And I don't need the description or the summary. Uh, I don't need the, U, well, the URL is the link to the actual page. Some of this you're going to want, some of this you don't. I don't need the title, you know, so it's, it's going to take some cleanup. But boy, does this beat, you know, having to retype this. I love the fact that if you've used the author field, so here's my summary, this is gonna be handy. But if you've used the author field, which is here, I can now search for previous guests that were on my show. The good news is I've got all 700 plus episodes into Excel. Yes, there are a lot of columns that I'm gonna go in and hide, and, but the good news is everything is here. It's not a case of I've used other tools and you import and you're like, oh, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. So I'd rather have everything and go in once and hide everything I don't need. And then from there, I can just, I'll be manually adding this in. One other thing you might wanna do, it's not that confusing, but you might want to, because it's not really a place you're gonna be living in a lot. And that is go back to File, Options, and come over here 
and turn off the developer tab and you'll see where that disappears on your Excel. So hope that helps. If you need help avoiding the common podcasting mistakes, I'd love to help you. Again, go over to schoolofpodcasting.com slash start. Use the coupon code YouTube and I will help you get podcasting in the right direction. Thanks for watching.